In this video, I'm giving away a custom After Effects sports matchup template built in Blender and polished in After Effects. But that's not all. You'll learn how to automatically generate unlimited variations of this template with just a few clicks. Stick around as I walk you through the creation process and don't forget to grab your free template from the link in the description. All right, so here's how this template looks like inside After Effects. But before we even got here, I actually built it in Blender. I started by creating the centerpiece that holds the score, title, and colors. I also animated the camera movement to bring it to life. After that, I added side objects to hold the team logos. Now here's the cool part. I actually rigged these objects to be modular using geometry nodes in Blender. And honestly, it worked out really well. Next up, I brought in the floor, which kind of mimics a field with those lines, adding to the overall look. Then I added the stands, keeping the texture simple to look like seats and LED lights. I didn't go crazy with the details since I knew they would be blurred out by the depth of field anyway. To make things feel more immersive, I added some volumetric lights to the stadium lights. This really helped sell the effect. I also threw in some atmospheric fog using volumetric lighting. Then I worked on lighting to make the object stand out from the background. For those final touches, I jumped into Compositor and added some extra details, things like smudges, glare, and dust particles. Once everything was set, I exported all of my passes out of Blender and brought them into After Effects for the final compositing. The passes I exported included Beauty, which is basically the final render, along with ambient inclusion, glare and smudges, shadows, alpha mat, home and away color mats, logo mat, score mat, and title mat. I started by bringing in the beauty pass, then layered in the home and away colors, ambient occlusion, shadows, home logo, away logo, score, and title. After that, I added reflections, glare and smudges, and finally, I fine-tuned everything with curves and vibrance effects to get the final polished look. Now, updating the team colors is super easy. Just select the controls layer and tweak the colors in the effect controls panel. Once you make the changes there, the entire composition updates automatically. Editing the title centerpiece is super simple. Just open up the title comp, update the text, and that's it. Same deal for the score. Just click on it, change the numbers, and you're good to go. To swap out the team logos, just open up home or away logo comp, select the team logo layer, and drag and drop your new image while holding alt to instantly replace it. And that's it. Now that you know how this template was created, it is time for me to hand it over to our sponsor, Plainly. And Ivan will show you how to automatically create endless video versions from this template with just a few clicks. Thank you, Sergey, for this amazing introduction and as always, an incredible animation breakdown. My name is Ivan and in this part of the tutorial, I'll show you how to batch render multiple versions of this template using a CSV file and how to automate the entire process from data input to video distribution using Plainly's native integrations or API. Let's dive in. Setting up an After Effects template for Plainly is super simple and doesn't require any complicated work in After Effects. The only thing I added is a prefix to our dynamic layers. This isn't mandatory, but it makes the process easier and in just a minute you'll see why. Next we need to upload our template from After Effects to Plainly, for that we're using the Plainly Videos plugin. Connect our account, enter a project name and hit upload. Let's open the project in Plainly. We want to create our template by clicking Auto Generate, choose the prefix option, enter our prefix from earlier, and hit Generate. This allows Plainly to automatically detect the dynamic layers and turn them into parameters. Our template is ready, so let's render some videos. We want to go to Render, Batch Render. For this, we need a CSV file. I already have a Google Sheet with all the data, colors, team names, logos, scores, and everything else. Simply download it as a CSV, upload it to Plainly, and connect your parameters to the CSV columns. If needed, we can change the output format, add captions, or even export static frames for each video version. We hit Render, and we have 50 video versions done in just a few minutes. Since Plainly is cloud-based, running on powerful rendering infrastructure, we don't have to worry about setting up our own render nodes. Now we can download the entire batch, send them to a client, or do whatever we want with them. Now, this is the simplest way to automated video versioning, but what if we feel more ambitious and want to take automation even further? Instead of manually downloading and uploading CSVs, we can connect our data sources directly to Plainly 
with Google Sheets, Excel, Typeform or Jotform. With these integrations, anytime we add a new row in a spreadsheet or submit a form, a new video is automatically rendered. And when it comes to distribution, we can automatically send videos to Google Drive, Dropbox, YouTube or any of your favorite platforms from this list. And if you want even more control, creating some really crazy automations, don't worry, because Plainly has a powerful API that lets you build custom end-to-end -end workflows, integrate with your existing systems, or create fully automated pipelines for video production. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to grab your free template from the link in the description. And if you are looking to automate your video creation, you should definitely check out Plainly. You can learn more at plainlyvideos.com. The link to that is also in the description of this video. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and I will see you in the next one.